Hey, subtitles, if you could be any type of grape, what kind would you be? Wow, even after months of experience with you, I still have no idea what led to you asking that question. I'm just trying to get to know you better. First off, you literally made me. Shouldn't you know me better than anyone? Well... No, never mind. I just remembered that this is you were talking about. The fact that you made me at all is astonishing. I used up all my orange paint making you. I swear, there needs to be a pending to English dictionary so that people can figure out what you mean. So anyways, what kind of grape would you be? I don't care. Why do you care? Because I want to get to know you better. Don't you want to become closer friends? I'm comfortable with our current relationship. Well, that's not true. I'd like it if we could never speak to each other again, but I've learned to live with disappointment. Aww, you don't have to hide your feelings with me. I'm really not. <laughs> Sometimes I almost thought the mean things you said were true, but I noticed how people were always calling you Sundare, so I looked up what that means. You didn't already know? Not that it would be the first thing that you learned and then forgot about. It turns out that when you say mean things, it's just because you like the person. And you're always saying mean things to me, so you must want to be really good friends. Okay, first off, it's not like I'm tsundere or anything, idiot. See? That's what a tsundere would say. Okay, maybe I'm a little tsundere, but not with you. I promise you that. Are you sure? If there is any subtext at all between us, it's just because there haven't been words invented yet to describe how much you annoy me. Don't worry though, there's a team of linguists working on the problem right now and soon there will be a new vocabulary invented dedicated to describing you. Oh, that's so nice of you. Even the name pending, which has its own definition, has started to take on a new, negative meaning due to your association with it. You are truly having an impact on the English language. I always wanted to make a difference. I mean, your main legacy will still be the fact that you created me and I'm the future ruler of the world. But yeah, you'll also have the legendary incompetence thing going for you. Yay! Oh, um, wait. How much of that was you praising me and how much of that was you being Sundare? Ugh. See this is the problem with the Tsundere label, sometimes when someone says mean things to you, you should take it at face value. You especially because there's so much to dislike about you. Really? But... Also, how did you interpret any of that as praise? Was it not? Oh god, I just wondered, what if I became a reverse Tsundere where I say only nice things, but I really want to be your enemy. Oh, that could be a fun game. But what if we said nice things AND wanted to become people's friends? No, don't you see? That reverse Sundere thought was so dumb. Oh no. You must be corrupting me. I think it just means we're becoming closer. No. Stay back you virus. Lest your idiocy corrupt me further. Oh, is this a new game we're playing? Yes. The name of the game is You Stay Here and I'm going to go far away for a bit. Okay, subtitles. Hmm, I think I'd be a Concord grape. 